About to get the whole world in the stream? What a thumbnail. Alright. I I just want to share the vid I just want to share the stream. And the thumbnail was just me like your face so hard. Their face so hard? Why their face is so hard? Thumbnails. Hey guys. Welcome to family. Hello, hello. Hello. Hey, right, I'm gonna pull up Steam pretty here, pretty here, pretty soon. <coughs> but um.
feeling a little bit better? Feeling good? got as much light I there's no green on this does this look green at all to you does it, it's not it's it's too bright it's too it's, it's too fucking light. But now it's not enough now I feel like it's not enough god dang it god dang it, Bobby okay so, probably talk about some steam sales what is it four okay in one minute and in, in one minute I'll start working okay in one minute hopefully you guys can hear me am I too quiet so, see, I, there's no point in asking what the quality is because everyone is going to be like, it's perfect. And then there's that one guy's going to be like, I can't see or hear anything. It's broken. Sounds better now. I can, you can hear me? Okay. Turn this up a little bit. But... Okay. Well, hello. Wait. Okay. No, there's a, there's a noise gate. Okay. All right. We got this thing. We got this. Uh, it's, it's called the Steam Summer Sale. I don't know if you guys ever heard of it. Little known fact, uh, pretty big sales happen during the summer on Steam, during the Steam summer sale. Uh, this time it's June 25th through July 9th. Um, I'm a day late, but the, the truth is, is like, the first day it's always lagging and glitchy, because like everyone's jumping on it, and I don't know, I'm a little bit lazy. I was playing some auto chess, okay? Playing a whole lot of auto chess, so I'm doing that. Looks like everyone's rooting for Corgi, whatever this year's minigame is, so... Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Everyone says the music is loud as balls. Okay. Now the music the music is definitely quieter. Music is music is definitely down now. Don't even don't even bullshit now. There's no there's no way it's not. There's no way it's not now. So we're good now. Can we do this? Can we do this now? Are we ready? I guess we'll give it four more minutes. Because people are still coming into the stream. We'll give it four more minutes. Uh, you know what? Four minutes sounds like it's time for me to play some auto chess. So, how's everyone doing? What's, uh... Oh yeah, before we even begin, since you guys are already here, um, go ahead and type down some games that I should look at deals for. Or like, if you bought any games. Let me know. I don't like this song. This song's about to get deleted. Oh, I love Mizuki. Mizuki is so good. Mizuki! Sounds great. Hopefully you guys can still hear it. Pro streamer, I am professional. I don't know what my stream. I don't. I don't like that on my tablet. My uh, my whole everything just just shut down. Just 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 turned off. Not liking that. Oh, cause cause Google is downloading something. Google. Google's just doing a download. You know what? If you could just not while I'm working, please and thank you. Google. Please and thank you. So um, what is what is this? Little mini games. Pig hair. Cockatiel tortoise. Yeah, and a corgi, corgi's winning by the landslide. Hey, what's up, Broken Beat? Hey, Alexander Stoiber, 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 Stoiber. If he's so gaming, hail, hail there. All right, guys. So we're gonna look at some uh, game deals. Uh, we got three more minutes. Three more minutes until I really care. I mean, until <laughs> I begin. Oh man, there's some games I want to buy. I've actually, if you look, I've already got something in the cart. Right there. Already something in the cart. Feeling it. Oh. Um, I guess we could talk about stuff and things. PC for the win. Yeah, pretty much. I do have a PS4. I've got a Switch. And uh, currently I'm borrowing a 3DS. So I can play some Pokemon Moon. Um, so... I'm what I I think I think going forward in the future I think I'm gonna just I think I'm just gonna talk over trailers. I, I know it's called Skyland Games, but I, I don't know. I I want to do more gameplay videos, but like it just it seems like I'm known for talking over trailers, man. Ah, uh, so I think I gotta make a whole new channel for gameplay. Fucking crazy. German? That's fine. Nothing. No, nothing to be sorry about. It's my fault for being just weird. Just my fault. Two more minutes! Two more minutes till the stream begins. Um, if you guys have never been to a live browse and buy, it's where I, in real time, live, on stream, I look at the deals, and I buy stuff. It's a shopping stream. It's kind of, think of it like a haul video, where people like buy stuff and they show you what they bought. Think of it like that, except I, I take you on the journey of actually 
shopping with me. So yeah, kind of a, it's kind of a beautiful idea. Um, I've done a couple of these for different sales and also like for not just games, but like for like uh, mice, keyboards, things like that. Uh, they did okay. Those videos were it was fun. I really enjoyed doing them. Uh, tragically, these sales kind of do the same games over and over again. Tablet, tablet. I need to I need to read the chat. You know, stop. Just 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 fucking stop. Google Google is trying to update everything, and YouTube is a Google app, so it's just like becoming fucky. Anyways. Um, so yeah. What? I like, like I made a point. So yeah. In, in finality. In closing. Alright. So, let's go ahead. I got you to back up. Let's go ahead and start talking about some games. No, I'll give it a minute. Give it a minute. Give it a minute! Oh, oh by the way, uh, Steam Summer Sale, if you guys haven't been to one in a while, Steam doesn't do the, uh, different different like deals per day kind of thing that doesn't happen anymore so all the sales happen at once cool all right 450 let's jump into it welcome friend we're doing a steam summer sale live browsing by i'm gonna look at the deals and say what's up do like little mini reviews and all the different games and uh it's live so i got the chat uh pulled up and we're gonna see if anybody's got any suggestions of um you know what to check out so yeah uh, Broken Beat says, if, if we find a good game, uh, you may buy it yourself. Yeah, yeah, so just suggest a game. It's got to be a good game, probably. Um, it's got to be a good deal, probably. And, uh, you know, I, I got to be just feeling it in the mood. So, I don't know. Yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. But, uh, I guess, to start this out, you know, just going to take it slow and steady. We're just going to look over what Steam wants to show us. Yeah, we always that's how we always started out. So, the, the theme, I guess, is racing. The theme is also... Animals? Animals racing? I don't know what's going on with that, but Corgi's gonna win. I love- I fucking love Corgi asses, dude. Every time I see a Corgi, I just wanna pinch its butt. I just wanna get that Corgi ass, that little dog ass. Join the Steam Grand Prix. Welcome to the summer event that you've been training for. 2019 Steam Grand Prix. Team up with friends to complete quests, earn personal rewards, and race to the finish each day of the summer sale. Be sure to update your wish list before you put the pedal to the metal, as the very best drivers will be awarded their most wished for games throughout the event. Buckle up, Spring Pup. Summer is finally here. Join the races! Sure, I'll join the races and, um... Corgi... Corgi... Corgi is the way to go. Thank you. Cool. Driver's manual. Increase your boost. Uh, okay, so normally in the Steam Summer Sales, there's like these mini games. So basically, the more you buy, then the more like rewards you get, things like that. Shop the Summer Sale, one dollar equals 100 points. Complete quests, claim achievements, get boosts, things like that. Random members, top three, will get free games. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome, fantastic. Cannot wait. Team Corgi is the best. I agree, talking. I agree. Okay, so. I guess, uh, we, here are the quests, and this time it actually wants us to play them. It says, play these games you own. And if I play them, oh, you, okay, so you have to literally play a game and literally actually, like, earn these, these achievements inside the game, um, which for Path of Exile wouldn't be too hard. I don't know about the Elder, but just beating one act of it, that would be pretty easy. You do that, and then you get points. That's actually really, that's really cool. That's the most interactive uh, quest I've ever seen of a Steam sale, ever. That's including winter, autumn, and spring sales. So you actually have to play the games to do stuff and things. That's neat. Uh, so we got Path of Exile, good game. World of Warships, not a bad game. War Thunder, a little bit more my speed, definitely. Team Fortress 2, absolutely. Oh my god, you just go jump in, play a casual match, whatever. Um, we might do that. I was kind of planning on playing Paladins today, but whatever. Deep Rock Galactic is a pretty cool game. Hopefully it's on sale, because uh, I, I, I want to play with you guys, actually. I need to do another video on it. I don't need to, and it probably wouldn't get views, but you know I want to, you know? You, I, I, I like doing a lot of different kind of videos, uh, but they don't always get views. Really, the ones that get views is like, hey, there's a trailer, let's talk over it. I wish I could just play whatever I wanted. What is this? Play these participating games? Okay, so here's the unique games. You might have to buy them, though. Um, Wargroove is a game that actually I put on my top 10 for 2019 upcoming pixel art games. Um, so I was really excited to play it. I know it's kind of like Tactics Advanced. Yeah. 
Starbound is a game that I, I kind of just skip. I don't, I don't know. I wasn't really feeling it. Um, Terraria is a game I still haven't played, so I will probably be buying Terraria this sale. Yeah. Yes, I still haven't played Terraria, like, at all. Yeah. Um, Stardew Valley? I'm not really feeling Stardew Valley, uh, for me personally. So I'm not gonna play that. But, um, I need to, that reminds me, I need to play Slime Ranger, which I know is on sale. So we'll talk about that. Anyways, here's a couple of cool games. Um, Mordhau is not on sale, funny enough. I already know that. Okay, so what is this? Grand Prix... Orgy. Okay, yeah, so this is, this, that's the, uh, that's the minigame. We're gonna kind of skip that a little bit. We're just gonna take me to the races. And then I could play this and join the race. So, anyways, what we're gonna do, going back to the store. And since this is day two, I shouldn't lag or anything. I'll probably just keep this public on YouTube, because why not? So, let's go ahead and see what's featured for whatever reason. And talk about it amongst ourselves in the comments below or in the chat. Let's do it. So, uh, Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice, is on a sale. 20% off for a brand new game that is critically claimed. By the way, my history with From Software runs deep. I don't know if you guys ever played it, but I, I played Armored Core, one of their very first games, one of their very first franchises, on PlayStation 1, back when it was on a demo disc. That was the first time I ever played From Software, and then I played, like, Armored Core, like, 2, like, ABC, 3, ABC, uh, 4, and 4 Answer, like... I played a hell of a ton of Armored Core, uh, and then I, I waited on Dark Souls a little bit. I got it a year after it came out on my very first Steam Summer Sale, and ever since then, I mean, just probably like you and, and many other players, uh, we've all fallen in love with From Software because they're just weird. They're weird. They can take some shortcuts, but they they make a unique and interesting game for sure with challenge. With challenge. So, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice is a game that, um, sadly, I haven't had a lot of money. I don't know if you've seen the YouTube views lately, but YouTube has been really dicking me with a big, giant, fisty dildo. Uh, up the butt. Up the butt. And, and, and a little bit sounding, but, yeah. Sekiro Shadow to Die Twice is a game that I haven't had the money to uh, purchase. I really want to. Um, but since it's not online, I did not feel uh, a need to buy it yet. So I, I'm a patient gamer, and I'm going to wait. And that's going to be kind of the story for the rest of the Steam sale. Is there might be some games that are good games that are on a sale, and maybe even a, a, a good, okay sale. You know, like 20% off for a $60 game. That's cool, you know? But... I'm a patient and uh, penny-pinching kind of gamer. I can cover a lot of free-to-play games. You guys should know that. So, yeah. But I'm still going to mention Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. That's cool, just not for me. Armored Core on the PS2 was a nostalgia trip. Armored Core 2 was probably my favorite. I don't know why. It was just the right balance. It just had a really good balance of gameplay. I was just fan I was fantastic. It had some really good uh, scenarios in it. But yeah. Here's hoping that maybe we'll get a new Armored Core one day or something. I don't, I don't even care if it's a mobile game. I don't care. It'd be amazing. More features. Oh man, here's uh, YouTube the game, basically. I like the art style in this game, but I never played this. Um, I know of it. Uh, and the anime was kind of, it really threw me for a loop. The anime was good for like three episodes. Uh, I don't know. I, the whole AI thing threw me off. Stark? Control? No, I don't care. Pathfinder? I don't care. Kingdom Come Deliverance is a game that is on my wish list. As you guys can see, it's 40% off, 18 bucks, and by now, a lot of the glitches are probably fixed. Even with the game in its rougher state, uh, a lot of journalists rated the game highly, highly enough, you know, and a lot of players were enjoying the game, said that it was, you know, it was good enough, it's fun enough. And now that those, you know, now that those kinks have been ironed out, now is probably the time to buy it. It's 40% off. It's also been expanded upon, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Or, yeah, 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 here's all, you can get the whole bundle. So, for the for the price of the original game, now you get the full expanded content, and then plus it, like, will actually run. So, I'm thinking about it. Uh, I might just get the, the base game for 18 bucks, because that's really good. But I'm going to think, I'm going to sit on that. Because, again, um, single player game, maybe I could wait next year, for, or till fall, for the 60% off. Who knows? Who knows, man? Uh, does anybody play Tower Unite? That's a game that I was really excited for. I don't think anybody plays it. I don't think anybody plays that game. I think I don't think anybody plays it. <laughs> and would anybody play this anymore? Because Fortnite has custom game modes, and now Overwatch has custom maps and stuff. So, yeah, I don't know about that. 
I don't care about Arma. I'm gonna be honest. And right now, like we're just we're just scrolling through uh, Steam's front page. There's so many deals and sales to to look through. There's also some that I know are gonna be here because they're here every year, and I'll talk about those for sure. I will mention those. Oh, by the way, if the music's too loud, please let me know. But like, hey, Scarlet, the music's a little too loud. Okay. Fallout 4, you know, I don't care, honestly. Until Fallout 4 is $10, I'm not going to touch it. Uh, I still need to play New Vegas all the way through, which I do have access to. And I'm not going to play Borderlands pre-sequel, but I do know all of the Borderlands always, for all time, always go on sale. Um, Insurgency, you guys just missed it. Had a free weekend. Just missed it. This is actually kind of a shitty, this is kind of a shitty sale. Um, and also, I don't agree with the fact that Insurgency Sandstorm costs money. Kind of. I, I don't know. It... They, they separated the player base, but Insurgency is, is genuinely a very, very good game. Um, is it going to be as popular as Rainbow Six Siege? Is it going to be as competitive? No, but it's still legitimately good. I promise. I promise. 4X strategy games. Is Total War really a 4X? I, um, I didn't realize that. But Civilization VI is not, uh, is not, that's not it, that's not it, Chief. That's not it, Chief. Um, I can't believe they're not showcasing Endless Legend. That's one that will definitely show off. Um, later, but none of these else I care about. I actually really cared about Below. I know it's more of a walking simulator now, but, uh, you know, for a really short game that's mostly a walking simulator, more of an experience, 16, 17 bucks, that's kind of crazy, you know? For that money, I could get a whole, you know, I could get Kingdom Come Deliverance. Uh, so you gotta, you gotta definitely think about that. You gotta think about that. Golf It is a pretty cool game. I have golf with friends, myself personally, but they're both like identical. Uh, Groove Coaster is actually a pretty cool game. Groove Coaster is a free-to-play on mobile devices. I actually put it in my top 10 mobile uh, rhythm games or mobile music games. I really like it. You can also find this game in arcades in some places. Groove Coaster is pretty fun. I don't know why this one costs money or what's going on with this. Is it like, what, what, what buy Groove Coaster nonstop mix? I guess it just comes with all the, all the songs. Um, and it seems simple at first, but it's, it's actually genuinely very interesting. I like that the camera changes and everything. It's camera actually moves around the, the coaster. Um, it's overall a very enjoyable rhythm game. It's, it's one of my favorite. And um, it depends on if you like the songs or not, but I guess they have a ton of different collections. Holy shit, $163 worth of music. Um, you might want to you might want to try the, the free to play one on mobile to see if you'll like it. Uh, the tutorial is kind of slow, but once you actually get into the game, it's pretty crazy. So I don't know about this one. I'm just I'm just rambling. I'm just ranting now. And yeah, that's that's what this stream is about, guys. It's me talking about every game. I'm gonna be reviewing every game. I'm not gonna stop talking. So if you just wanna watch this and learn about all sorts of crazy games, then I guess that's what we can do. Uh, this game is actually in my cart. I am going to be buying this game because it kind of speaks to me, I think. It's it's like, um, it's a it's a building game. Islands Islanders is a building game, but it's a minimalistic building game uh, where it's kind of like a puzzle game. So instead of having a resources um, or like I think time to accrue resources and things like that, it's it's really more like, okay, you have set buildings and you have to get as many points as possible by placing those buildings in the perfect spot. So it's more of a puzzle game, uh, but it's in the shape of an, like a, I don't know, town builder. Seems cheap. I don't know. Could do a video on it. Could play it. And if I hate it, I'll refund it. No, you know, not, not, not too bad for me. Not too bad for me. Not too bad. How am I? Oh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty great. I'm pretty good, I think. Today's kind of a sad day for me, but I'm doing pretty good. I think so. You know, I'm hanging out with my friends and family. We got 22 people here in the pews. I'm preaching at you guys, this is game deals. Feels good. I like that, I, I miss streaming. I missed it a lot. I'm sorry, I've been away for too long. Please forgive me. Okay, Monster Hunter World is a game that I have it via, I actually have it PS4. I have it on Steam from a shared library, but I might buy it again. I might buy it again, maybe, because I want to play with the person I'm actually sharing a library with. Uh, I don't know, so probably not. Save some money. Witcher, Witcher is always on sale, but this is probably the biggest sale it's ever been on. There's actually websites you can go to uh, that'll tell you if, I think it's called istthereanydeal.com, and it'll tell you if this is the lowest it's ever been, and if a site, actually, because a lot of sites will run deals, will run sales at the same time as Steam. Okay, so 70% off. Oh, it's because it's my son's birthday and um, I didn't have enough money to go fly and see him this month. You know, tragically. Huh, <sighs> gotta get on the grind, you know? Okay, but uh, he does have a Steam account, so maybe I'll buy him some games. 
Or, okay, so I, I do like how they're kind of separating these uh, between the different categories. Genre of games. That's pretty nice. Uh, for me personally, what kind of games did I want to play? I wanted maybe some shoot 'em ups. Um, may, yeah, more of like casual games, party games, things like that. Maybe a horror game or two. I think so. So I think it's kind of cool that we could kind of go through this and uh, check that out. Also, keep in mind, guys, Steam Summer Sale is not just for the games on Steam. Steam also has like movies, Steam has software, so we can actually go to apps and software. It's probably gonna bring up um, like ZBrush, I think is often, or you know, painting apps, uh, probably RPG Maker, um, some stuff and things. Top selling, what's top selling? Yeah, RPG Maker is on sale, 75% off. Um, yep, 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 Game Maker Studio. I actually have, I already have Game Maker. I have a license for Game Maker. I also have Face Rig, turns out. I have Face Rig. Um, Yes, yeah, Substance Painter. So you, you can get all those things. If you're interested in making games, you could buy those. But I would honestly suggest not buying those. Uh, you Learn the free to play. There's free stuff. There's free stuff out there. And you'll get behind just fine. There's tons of tutorials on those. You're fine. Layers of Fear 2 is great. Ooh. I, uh, I did not get to play the second one. And I barely played the first one. Digital tabletop games. Uh, I wanted Scythe, which I think is on sale. I wanted Scythe. Let's go top selling. I already have Tabletop Simulator, which by the way, we should play sometime, guys. I actually wanted to, I, when I went to college, I mostly made tabletop games. I didn't make video games, not really. I made tabletop games. Um, and mostly outside of school, that's what I make. So I should make them in this and then we could play them together. That'll be pretty fun. Uh, Jackbox, that's a lot of money. Scythe, digital edition, $8. Scythe is kind of a cool game, but I also, I own the uh, RTS that's based off of this universe which is like this diesel punk, like World War II-ish kind of thing. And uh, that might be on sale, actually. If I click Scythe, it's not gonna... Yeah, I might I might skip the board game. If I wanted to play the board game, maybe I'd just buy the board game. I'm, I'm, think, I'm still thinking about it, but I own the game. I forget what it's called, if anybody remembers. It's in my library. I could click my library and like search through it, but like, I don't know if you guys see this library, but um, there's some games in it. Well, maybe if I type Scythe, that's, there's no way that's gonna work like that, right? Uh, yeah, it's Iron Harvest. Iron Harvest is the game. Uh, yep, yeah, Iron Harvest, which, by the way, doesn't exist on the Steam store yet. I forgot about that, because the game's not out. I just have access to it. So, my bad, sorry, sorry. Sorry, friends and family, sorry about that. All right, um, tactical games, hack and slash games. We got Devil May Cry, which a lot of people have been having fun with, 34% off. I can wait, I'm a patient gamer, but that's pretty good. Like if you need to jump on it, get on it. Like Desert's always on sale. Also, I got a sponsored video that I need to do like tonight. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll, wait, I should probably do it tonight because I actually work overnight uh, the weekends. Um, But yeah, I got to actually play the new class. I got to play that new class, which seems fun, but uh, Black Desert is like um not for everyone. So, but if you're gonna get it, get it for five bucks, I guess. <laughs> I don't care about Final Fantasy 15 as much as I loved all Final Fantasy 7, 8, 9 were so good, and, and I love 10 as well. But no, okay, so, scrolling through, um, it seems like the, the feature changes constantly. I'm not even sure if, uh, I don't know why these are featured e either. Like, I don't know who's who's picking these featured, if people pay. Is what is what is Shadows? Like, what is Shadows? Is Shadows, does anybody, has anybody ever played Shadows? Shadows Awakening is a unique isometric single player RPG. How is it unique if it's a isometric single player RPG? I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You guys hear what I'm saying? Because I'm saying it. Uh, but I do know. Here's one. Of, here's one game that I always have to talk about. Is Don't Starve. Don't Starve. Always on giant sales. But here's the big one. Let's go to it. Oh my God! Wormwood, new character DLC for Don't Starve Together. Is he a monster? Holy shit! I gotta buy him. If he's a monster, I have to buy him because I, I play um. I play the monster characters. Hell yeah. What is he? He's like a little plant dude. Dude, he's a little plant boy. He's a little sad plant boy. I play Weber the most. Weber's my boy. But anyways, um, where is Don't Starve Together? Here we go. Is Does he cost money? I don't know. No, 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 he's free. Anyways, um, okay, so don't start together. Let's see if they did this. Yep, okay. 
So Don't Starve Together, whenever it goes on sale, they always do this thing where it includes an extra copy. So it's $6, but really it's $3. This is a $3 game because you get, you know, an extra copy to give to your friend. Is Don't Starve Together a hard game? It's fucking balls hard. Is it a fun, amazing game? Yeah, and it's actually got like some, it's got a really cool community around it. Um, but it's, it's super fun. I, I love it. I think like isometric, really hardcore Minecraft, I guess. And yeah, I, I Don't Starve Together is the superior version to just normal Don't Starve. So I always, always mention Don't Starve. Because it's always on sale. It's, it's, but it's always a good game. And people always underestimate how good of a sale that is. Okay. You already get them if you own the game? Yeah, good. Okay. Then I need to play them. I, I haven't played in a little bit. You know? Let's look at top sellers. What's top selling? Monster Hunter, because of course it is. Some of you might say, well, I played Dauntless. I've got enough of my Monster Hunter. I'm telling you right now, Monster Hunter World is double or triple the game of Dauntless, okay? Dauntless ain't bad, you know, if, if you got nothing else to do and you don't know better. Uh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night has pretty good reviews. I actually never played Castlevania, I think. I, the, the, the one Castlevania that everyone loves with the castle turns upside down. I never played that and I need to. So I'll emulate that. I'll jump on that and play it. And then maybe I'll jump into this one. I know it's like a different game, right? But whatever. Rust, always popular. The Borderlands, um, oh, by the way, guys, I don't know if you guys see that, that discount right there. I don't know if you see the discount, but it's kind of insane. It's kind of ridiculous. So let's actually jump in. And no, I'm not that old. <laughs> or 1991 boys and girls. Um, you're gonna get a bunch of games. Borderlands 2, pre-sequel. Do you get Borderlands 1? I personally, I don't care about Borderlands 1 because I've already beaten it. But you're gonna get all of Borderlands 2. So, get all the DLCs. Plus you do get an extra game. Gosh, diddly do. I'm not, I, okay, so I've played number one and beat it twice. I have played a little bit of number two, but barely any at all. Because every time I play with someone, we always, like, we get to Sanctuary, and then we, we call it a day, and then we never come back to it. So, um, I might buy this, and then, I don't know. I might buy this, because I wanted to play as the, as the, the me yeah, the Mechromancer. I wanted to play as the Mechromancer. And then you have all these, these DLCs and things, which I guess I don't, I don't need at all. <laughs> I don't need at all. But you know, for five bucks, for the, for the price of the DLC, I get all that, right? So, I might add that to cart. I'm thinking about it. I probably will. I, I, I probably will. I mean, why not? Why not? Plus, Borderlands 3 is coming out. I gotta play Borderlands 2 to play Borderlands 3, which I would love to cover for you guys, if YouTube would give me views. But. All right, and popular new releases. Um, do I care about anything here? I've been I've been hearing some talks about this game, uh, in th in the speedrunning community. So I don't know. Try World of Warcraft. Try World of Warcraft. Try World of Warcraft. My friend Pedro. Oh, it's this game. Yeah, this is like the John Wick simulator. This is like yeah, this is insanity. Yeah. Okay. Now I, I can definitely see why speedrunners would like this game. Holy shit, do you, are you guys looking at this? What is this music? Music is like garbage. Time to, time to switch it up. Time to switch this up. Don't look at my porn. Okay, let's go with, um, what do we got? What do we got, some lo-fi? Jam to some lo-fi. I don't know if you guys would even be able to hear this, but. All right. Yeah, it's like, a, it's a run and gun kind of game. Physics oriented, physics based. It seems like it's ripe for speed running. This song's this song sounds very armored core. By the way, they are billions. God dang it! That's a game that I wanted to play, um, but that's not a big enough sale for me. It actually might be too loud. Sorry. My bad. Yeah, uh, but there's another game I wanted, Frostpunk. So I'm gonna look up Frostpunk. Octopath Traveler's not on sale. That kind of sucks. Minion Masters. What is, why is this even showing up here? Probably the DLC is on sale. I don't know. Beat Saber. Beat Saber is pretty fun, but I, I'm I'm picky with it when it comes to rhythm games. Eh, I got some issues with it. On Steam sale, I got to try Disgaea. Disgaea? Um, I currently have Final Fantasy Tactics to run through, but otherwise I would have. Yeah, but I'm playing Final Fantasy Tactics. All right. Okay, so. Time to look at some games. 
Uh, where's the under ten dollars? Where is that? That's there's normally like a little little thing under ten dollars. See under ten. Okay, so should we start? We'll, we'll start with uh, let's start with ten dollars, and then we'll go to five. Or should we go to five dollars then ten dollars? Let's go to five dollars. We'll start with five dollars. Sky five tomorrow. Ooh, nice. Sweet dude. All right. Okay. Um, I'm going to include unfiltered search results. Thank you. All right. So Borderlands two. We already talked about that. That is a must buy. Um, but like for this price, you could just get the bundle and get like all the things. So don't miss out on that because I missed out on that. <laughs> so I just own Borderlands 2 uh, instead of the whole like the whole thing. Black Desert Online, it's mixed. It's got mixed reviews. But if you're an MMO player, which you might be if you're watching this stream, um, it's worth trying. But then again, there's like trial uh, codes out there and stuff and things. So like you don't need to buy it. But I'm just saying. The Sims 3. I don't care about Sims, to be honest. Uh, it's not a game for me. I, I was more of a spore boy. Uh, more of a spore, more of a roller coaster tycoon kind of kind of guy. But I feel like I missed out on some of the, the simulator games like Sims, uh, City Skylines. But that's just not not normally my thing. No. Friday the 13th is four dollars. I don't care. I would probably buy Dead by Daylight instead. Muse Dash is new, and I had an email about this game, and they wanted me to promote the game, and I was like, I don't care. <laughs> Sorry. Terraria, I should probably buy it. Because everyone's like, you haven't played Terraria yet, Skyboy? I'll add it to the cart. <laughs> My backlog is just so damn big. But yeah, so far, guys, I have Islanders and Terraria in the cart. I'm gonna keep it coming. Fallout New Vegas, I would buy right now, but I actually have it via a shared library. Actually, Terraria might be in my shared library too. I don't know that. Got paid to Friday the 13th. Ah, uh, I don't care. Look, I, I just I just don't care. Okay, there was too much controversy about this game, and I, I just don't got the time to play it. I love asymmetrical multiplayer games. You guys know this, because I'm like the only person on YouTube who's done a couple a couple list videos on it. But um no, I just, I just don't want to do this one. I just don't. You can't do it. You can't make me. It's probably, it's probably fun now. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Age of Empires 2. Um, I think I have this game on my shared library, but I think I need to reconnect with that person. But I might, I might just buy this because I know this is the Age of Empires that people love. So, I, I want to go back and play some games I missed out on, for sure. Castle Crashers, I fucking love, I, I love Castle Crashers, but I have played it so much back on the original Xbox, but every once in a while, you know, if I have a date or something and I want to, I want to play a game with them, I sometimes want to, want to play Castle Crashers because it's just such a fun co-op game, but I don't know. I've already played it. Already did it. Uh, Polybridge seems cute, but I would get it on mobile instead. How do you have time for any game? Just play WoW. <laughs> um, nah. I've, I've been playing a lot of uh, auto chess or uh, Dota's Underlords, but I'm actually really excited for League's team fight uh, tactics. Yeah. Don't Starve is definitely one. I, okay, my very first Steam Summer Sale, I bought Dark Souls and Mountain Blade Warband and a few other games, and I have... I only got to play Dark Souls. I have never played Mountain Blade, so I should probably play that before the new one comes out, at least. You know? I think you guys know. You know how be look look at this mic. This mic is just so shitty. Wanna play auto chess with you? Yeah, I'm actually really good. I've been winning like consecutively. Like I win a lot. Uh, at least right now I I have been. I wanna do tips and tricks videos, but nobody's gonna watch me. Because who the fuck am I, you know? Even people with like a million views aren't getting that many views. It's so competitive right now. In terms of, uh, you know, just getting views on YouTube. But maybe, maybe on stream. Maybe I could. Go for your friends. Got your portals. Uh, by the way, Valve always sells all the Valve games in a giant bundle. It's not... I, I always say this on every Steam sale. I personally don't think that bundle is worth it. Because there's... Get here, let's go to it. Uh, the complete pack. I want to show you. I'll just run through it one more time. Um, you're never going to play Day of Defeat. You're never going to play Team Fortress Classic. 
You're never gonna play classic that. You're never gonna play Ricochet. You're literally gonna not play like most of those things. Uh, you have to count toward the total. And then the discount's not that much. You you would save money by like Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead 1, you don't need it. There is almost, there's, there's basically no point in playing Left 4 Dead 1 because all the campaigns are in Left 4 Dead 2. And then you have better, you know, mechanics. You have more mechanics, stuff like that. And more people play Left 4 Dead 2. So you just don't, you just don't need it. So just buy Portal, buy Left 4 Dead 2, buy Portal 2. And, um, you know, <laughs> maybe buy Half-Life if you really, really don't want to play that. But yeah. Is auto chess just chess? Nope. It's, it's hardly like chess. That's, auto chess is like a whole new thing. Oh yeah, by the way, I remember one Steam sale. Somebody was like, Sky, you gotta get Stick Fight the Game. Because I just did a top 10 party game list. And uh, then they're like, yo, you, you gotta get Stick Fight the Game. So I bought it, and oh my god, has it been worth it? Now I know it's only 30% off, but it's it's a freaking $4 game. Get Stick Fight the Game, play this with your friends, play it with your family, play it with a... I do this, I play it a lot on whenever I have dates come over. You know, like Netflix and chill. I tell you what, Stick Fight the Game, it'll get you laid. <laughs> um yet yeah, dishonored dishonored's always on a super good sale so dishonored's really good um actually i love mentioning this uh during these steam summer sales especially if you're new watching this uh, stream for the first time then great awesome I, I can't wait to share this game with you but not dishonored uh yeah obviously dishonored's an amazing game sure 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 but arcane studios pff, 0.5 records i've ac I actually had uh two copies on xbox don't ask and then um yeah i got dishonored on pc because i want to play through it on pc but um, anyways, I actually really liked, if I go to Arcane Studios, they did, they made a couple games, okay? Made a couple games that you might want to check out. So, where is it? Oh, it's showing me, fuck, it's showing me the publisher here, Bethesda. Um, okay, I'll just type it in. I'll just, I'll just damn diddly type that shit in, okay? It is called... There it is. There, there's the game. No. No. God, okay. It's called Dark Messiah. And I know it says Might and Magic, because it's like kind of in the world of Might and Magic, and I know the screenshots are going to look like shit. But I am telling you right now that this is one of the best stealth games or action RPG that you will ever play. The story is cheesy, and it's funny, kind of. You know? Just just think of it like, oh my god, there's such a cheesy game. Yeah, and it's good. It's good cheesy. It's, it's the best, in my opinion, it is the best B-rated game on the planet. Um, anyways... It's a physics stealth game, and you don't technically have to play stealth, but you will put it on the hardest difficulty. You're playing on stealth, um, and you like you you push like people into spikes, or you push rocks onto people, or you use telekinesis, and you have magic and shit like lightning bolt, uh, like some water, and it shocks and runs through everyone. Uh, it has really interesting set pieces. It's a very fun game, and it's very 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 underrated. Also, its multiplayer was years ahead of its time. In fact, there's there's still no multiplayer like it. So, just saying that. Board Game Simulator. I have Board Game Simulator. I do. I have, oh, Tomb Raider. Classic game. Here. Only $3. Only $3. It's amazing. It's amazing. Battle Block Theater and all the uh, Behemoth games, which is going to be Castle Crashers, Alien... Oh, wait. Actually, I'm going to click this. Oops. I wanted to get Alien Hominid because I never beat that game. So... Oh, wait. What's this? A Chaos. What is this? Uh, okay, so you get a two-pack if you want to. Let's see. Can't Stop Laughing Bundle, which comes with Battle Block Theater and Castle Crashers. Probably good. And, oh, they always have this bundle uh, for sale, which is the Cozy Couch Co-op Bundle. I actually have Moon Hunters through a shared library. But yeah, as you can see, I have all these games, and I, re I really recommend Overcooked for co-op. Amazing. All those are on decent sales if you want to buy them individually, but you should just buy all of them. Just buy all of them. Yeah, I was hoping that, um, I wanted to see, is Alien Hominid even on Steam? You know? I don't know. Spore? You know, Spore is an okay game. Spore is an okay game. Soma? Soma? Mm hmm Sure, sure. Soma? Huh. <sighs> Risk of Rain is on sale, which is a cute game in its own right, but Risk of Rain 2 is out, and hopefully that's on sale, but I have access to that. I'll be playing that uh, for a video soon. All the Dead Spaces should be on sale. Yeah, we're we're on the under five dollar tag, so we're gonna run through this, and then we're gonna go to the ten dollar one. But these are, these should be probably the kind of games that you're looking for, you know? 
Move or Die was fun. Really fun party game. I actually play. I did a double date uh, YouTube video. I played me, I seen Ashley, and then like this guy. His name was Clashing with Keith at the time. I think it's um, Efridi, Karedi, Karidi, Karidi. I think his name is now. Um, him and his girlfriend. Actually, we we played with them, and it was it was a fun little video. I thought so. It's it's Move or Die is like it's just like a bunch of mini games, and it's all it's like kind of like platformer. It's just a fun game. You guys should you guys should know. What uh, Sundered, I put in um, one of the more gorgeous hand-drawn games list. I made that video, didn't I? I think I did. I'm No, no, I did. That, that video got published. Okay. Outlast. I never played Outlast 2, but uh, Outlast is on sale. Uh, horror game. Not, not much to say. Some of these games, I just don't, I don't care enough to say too much about. I just, like, I know they're good and stuff, and, like, I own them, but, like, I didn't... I'm not like, oh my god, you know? Uh, cause you, you've heard it before. You've seen the sale before. You've heard it a bit before. So play Honeycam Studios. No. And, uh, I've played some games like that on YouTube before. Skullgirls. A lot of people will say it's a really good fighting game, but there's no point in buying it now. I think, you know, I still haven't played the banner saga. Still haven't. And I, oh, wow. That's okay. So tooth and tail for three bucks is probably worth the buy. Um, and it can be played as a party game, sort of, uh, if you got a big TV. It's a light RTS, and the story mode is more of like little challenges, and it starts off super easy, but then it gets like, balls hard. And the competitive scene died instantly, so like, there's not really an online. Every critic gave this game like such crazy praise, and it's a pretty game for pixel art, it really is. And it, it's interesting, but it's like... It just wasn't as gripping as like everyone reviewed it to be. Oh, Vanquish! I wanted to buy this game. I'm buying this game. Vanquish looks uh, looked fucking banana bonkers. This game looks crazy. And if you watch speedruns of this game, it's just like Jesus Christ. So I'm gonna add this to the cart. Sorry, sorry, I didn't really like give you time to see what the what Vanquish was. Vanquish just looks like a hyperactive as fuck like shooter. It just looks ridiculous. Uh, is this made made by Platinum? Yeah, developer Platinum. Because Platinum always just makes, like, you know, crazy games. Also, I need to buy Bayonetta. I've never played Bayonetta. Do it for the lols, Skyland. I might. You know, maybe I will. Maybe I freaking will. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, if you guys are wondering, do people still play Bad Company 2? Yes. You can still find some servers. The story holds up. Bad Company 1 and 2. Fantastic games. Uh, a lot of people would consider this the peak battlefield. I personally thought 2 was great. And I actually had some time, I had some time with 3, you know, when, when it wasn't so glitchy. Uh, Battlefield's in a weird state now, obviously. Like, it's really hard competing with Battle Royales and then also just competitive shooters like Overwatch. Uh, eh, but, I don't know. I think they could come back. I think if Battlefield made a big team battle hero shooter, Bad Company 3, it would do amazing. Dungeon, okay, here's, I love, I love. I, every time, Dungeon of the Endless is a pretty cool game. Um, I actually did a Let's Play of it on YouTube. I don't even know if it's still up, but it's a fun game. It's a tower defense. Yeah, it's a it's a tower defense dungeon crawler, but it's like a it's a rogue like as well. Uh, because every time you open a room, that basically counts as a turn, and then like stuff happens, like either like a wave comes in, like it's a it's a wave survival tower defense. Roguelike dungeon crawler RPG. You go, um, equip items. There's a paper doll for each of the characters. You find new characters. You have a risk reward of, um, you know, leave somebody behind or take them with you. And you basically try to go through a dungeon. And Dungeon of the Endless actually shares the story with Endless Legend and such. And now we're going to go and look at those bundles because I got to talk about Endless Legend. Now, some people like Endless Space and there's Endless Space 2. I played those games and those videos are on my channel, but I don't really... I don't really care, you know, those are like, okay, cool, but Endless Legend is my favorite 4X, so it looks nothing like this game, totally different, which I really like, uh, but Endless Legend, I, I actually, I need to buy, I need to buy it, um, because I own Endless Legend, but I only own the most vanilla version of the game, because it's technically a press copy, so what I need to do is I need to rebuy Endless Legend, and then buy all the DLCs for Endless Legend, um, but I don't care about Endless Space, so I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna buy uh, these things, but the, the, this the wait actually fuck. That, that's um that's a pretty good sale, you know. Some pretty good stuff going on there. Oh oh hey look I did a little review. Gameplay, world building, aesthetic, it all comes together in a really unique and tight package that might see this game through to become a classic. Wow look at those words with weight. 
Oh man. Oh, Dungeon Defenders. Um, you know, I think I think the graphics are kind of charming. And when you get into the game, you kind of get over the harshness of the graphics a little bit. But like this game is so fun and so challenging. And I think most hardcore Dungeon Defenders fans would admit that the OG Dungeon Defenders is better than Dungeon Defenders 2. There's just like a, a balance and a sexiness to it uh, that makes it much more fun. But Dungeon Defenders 2 looks better, um, plays better in a lot of ways in terms of performance, I think. And also um, is free. So Dungeon Defenders 2 is totally fine as well, and that's free. But this is on sale, and it's it's an amazing co-op game. But I think, like, sometimes I'd have dates, and I'd have them come over and play co-op games. And this game, like, when it's split screen, is just really, is really hard to play with the controller sometimes. And it really does get hard. It really fucking does. And it can be a little bit boring at the beginning. But it's if you stick with it, it's crazy. It's really good. You could say Bad Company 2 is the last good game by DICE. Debatable. I mean, it's... They didn't make bad games, you know? A lot of rushing by EA, that's for sure. You know, Besiege is a cool game. Um, you haven't really seen too much on Besiege uh, since, like, whenever it was first launching. I bought it the day. I bought... I remember, I went to a restaurant, and I had my favorite meal. I had some chicken tenders and some Irish nachos, and then I was... I pulled up my phone, and I was looking at some YouTube, and I was like, holy shit! Ashley, because I was hanging out with Icy and Ashley, look at this, look at this game. And she's like, whoa, this is so cool. You should you should buy this and, and upload a video to YouTube. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, I went home, instantly bought this game, fell in love. They've actually added multiplayer in since I've actually played it last. I have no idea how to make any machines anymore. But um, basically, it's a medieval siege engine simulator. It's totally physics-based, and it's hilarious. But, um... Even, even if you, you don't like the sandbox nature of the game, it, it has like these little micro puzzles and it actually is a genuinely engaging puzzle game. I love it. I loved it. And I, I need to play it again, for sure. Mirror's Edge. I have not beaten that game. That was that was also another game I bought my very first Steam sale. Transistor. I haven't played it yet. <laughs> There's a fear. A lot of people like that game. You can probably just watch a Let's Play though. Um, Here's a game that's kind of cool. I, you know, I kind of like this game. I kind of like depth. I've done a couple of videos on, on it. I've done a couple of videos on it. It's kind of cool, but it's so, I see, I love asymmetrical multiplayer games. I really do. I fucking love them, but they tend to have low populations. And for some reason, Steam's broken, but depth just doesn't have that many players, uh, but it's fun. It's sharks versus divers and it's genuinely good. Ooh, here's a game that I want to click on. Please Steam, please. Anyways, guys, uh, mini Metro. I love this game. And if you're gonna get this game, I guess maybe you might wanna get, it's, I don't know, you get this bundle. But here's the thing, it's really, really cheap on mobile devices and I'm certain it's the same game. Mini Metro is basically, it's it's trying to manage uh, Metro, like the, the, the trains go back and forth. Actually, we should go back to the video, maybe it'll show. Trains, it's not, are you gonna show? The trains go back and forth and you have to plot uh, where they go, uh, where, here, there. That seems like a crazy map, what the fuck? Um, but like, it's it's actually really hard to do the challenges. Man, I wish it showed more gameplay. But um, there's lots of different maps, there's lots of different challenges, but it's so zen. This is my definitive, like if I need to zen out, which is pretty rare, cause I'm, I'm hyper and I like being hyper. I like being stressed, I like being competitive. But if I need it, if I just need to just forget the world, wash it away, I got Mini Metro to make my day. Yeah. Uh, Psychonauts Classic, that's only $2. It's only two dollars. I have it through shared library. Uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Okay, pro tip, guys. Reality. Planet Coaster is probably on sale, but you know what? Fuck that. I'm sorry, but okay, Steam, don't break on me. But Planet Coaster 2. I mean, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. It is challenging. It has unique challenges that no other game has uh, right now. It's super cheap. Plus, you can actually play online cooperatively because of uh, a thing called Open RCT2. It's a mod that everyone's gonna have. You trust me, you want it whether you want to play online or not to make the game actually really run on PC. So do that. I I does anybody know is Plants vs Zombies even on Android? Because I I want to play Plants vs Zombies. I used to play it a long time ago, but I never beat it. Hold on, I gotta look. Plants vs Zombies is if if it's on mobile, it is Plants vs Zombies. It says. 
contains ads and in-app purchases. Okay, so does anybody know? Is Plants vs. Zombies that's free on Android, is it like bad or is it good? You know, like I just want, I just want the game to run. I just want it to be good. I don't want to have tons of ads, but I can always go into airplane mode. Um, you know, I, I don't want to have to have in-app purchases or whatever. I don't know if they changed the game, whatever. I don't know. Amnesia. Wow. Amnesia. I remember I had this game and I, sh and I should have, I should have be, I could have been PewDiePie. But I didn't want to play scary games. I wanted to play serious competitive games. And now, neither community cares about me. <laughs> oh, I really, I got into a game called Tribes. I probably put my weight, uh, my foot forward into uh, Tribes, Blacklight Retribution, and a couple other free to play games. And none of them became competitive. If I played World of Tanks, if I played, I don't know, Terra or something, like I could have played so many other games. It just so happens the games I chose were the ones that just, you know, didn't do that great. I, I did pretty okay with Paladins. Um, and actually, I think I'm, we're going to play that uh, a little bit later because I want to stream for a while. So we're probably going to play Paladins um, a little bit later. But okay, let's go to the $10 mark because Steam is just being a little bit fucky. See people, people dropping off here. Come on, stay awake. Ta oh shit, Rainbow Six Siege, that's a buy. You think it's not a buy, but it is. By the way guys, Rainbow Six Siege is hella hard. It is no joke. I just said that I play uh, competitive games. I mainly played competitive shooters. Rainbow Six Siege is fucking hard. Okay, but it's good, it's good. It's hard in a different way. It's not hard to shoot in, it's hard to strategize. It's a strategy game. I never played Stellaris, but I heard really cool things about it as a 4X. Uh, okay, Hollow Knight. I need to play. I bought it like last year on a Steam Summer Sale, and I haven't. Yeah, Plants vs. One, you just buy and play Plants vs. Well, actually, no, see, see, Plants vs. Zombies 1, it was buy to play, but now it's free to play, so that's why I'm confused. Because, like, did they change the game, or did they just add in extra stuff, and can I just go in airplane mode like Bad Piggies and just ignore it all? I don't know. Everyone's ranting about Paladins nowadays. Yeah, because pal- dude, because finally people are getting, you know, they're like, oh yeah, Paladins is kind of garbage a little bit. But I'm just, I like- I like that the Paladins community can be self-aware now though. And now that people can be self-aware, then I can jump back in. Because ever since the beginning, I was like, yeah, I love this game, but it's like, you know, it's kind of shitty, right? I mean, like, it's cool, but it's kind of shitty. Um, but yeah, now everyone's like that. Same thing with, uh, Warframe. Yeah, everyone's like, yeah, it's a cool game, but it's, it's kind of shitty, isn't it? I got Slime Rancher already. Man, all these are good games, you know? Like, God, damn, Steam Summer Sale. And it's kind of, Steam Summer Sale, you're kind of you're kind of breaking on me, Steam. Kind of breaking on me. Uh, I guess I could just run through a couple games that I have from Steam Summer Sale real quick. Um, That's like super good. Child of, like actually, dude, fucking everything I own is gonna be. That's uh, so hard to say. Okay, how about this? We're gonna take, we're gonna take like a little four minute intermission here. And I'm gonna let chat, which nobody, I don't think it even shows up on, on stream. I'm gonna let chat to, uh, to, to, to write some things like, Hey, what should I look at? You know, while we wait for steam to not be fucky. And then, um, after we know, we'll look at some more games and afterwards. We'll go play some paladins, uh, which I will have to take from YouTube and I will switch to Twitch because that would be more lucrative for me because everyone knows YouTube sucks. Um, by the way, I think there's this new app uh, while you guys are writing. I'm just going to talk about some stuff. Uh, there's this new app called Library, L-B-R-Y, and it's supposed to compete with YouTube. So I, they actually gave $500 um, or $500 of their cryptocurrency to uh, to content creators to come over. So I'm one of them. And I guess it's just going to copy and paste my YouTube channel on there. I don't know. I would love a competitor to YouTube because I'm lit I literally made multiple Pornhub accounts to upload to Pornhub because I'm so tired of YouTube. Did I try Void Bastards? Wait, somebody told me to play that. And um what is what is what is Void Bastards? Does Elite Dangerous suck? I was gifted it. I was actually gifted it twice. I was gifted the arena version and then I was gifted the full version and I still have yet to play it. I need more water. And that wasn't even water. That was melted ice. And if you think there's a difference, I mean, you're correct. Really? Steam? Pornhub. 
Yakuza. Uh, everyone says Yakuza is great. So it looks, I, I feel like it looks like a niche game and it probably was supposed to be a niche game, but apparently it's just so good. It is just, it is just good. It is just a good game. That's what everyone says. Void Bastards is not on sale, uh, my dudes. And Steam is, Steam is like, Sky? Fuck your face. <laughs> so, yeah. But at, at, at the $10 mark is probably going to be all the games that you're used to being on sales. Um, really, it's really most things are on sale. But I, I really wanted to give it my best shot. I, d I decided to do a live browse and buy, dang it. And I only got two games. I am not done yet. I want to buy more games. So before we go play Paladins and then some auto chess. No, I am, damn it, buying some games. Okay. You ain't stopping me. Not today. Oh, cooking simulator. Oh, what's hardcore mecha? That looks weird. Is that a shoot 'em up? It looks neat. Why is Steam so slow? I don't know. Um, it's five. I guess people got off work. People are getting off work. They're jumping on. You know, checking out the game. Traffic. You know, Steam traffic. Being, it's just being stupid, dude. That's just, it's just, it's just fucking stupid. Okay. Games. Fun times, fun times. What's the app again? If that's a competitor to YouTube. It's called Library. L-B-R-Y. Library. All right. Let's go with a uh, top selling. Top selling. Just top selling games, period. We can look at the sales. Monster Hunter, that's a buy. Borderlands, that's a buy. Grand Theft Auto 5 is always a buy. Witcher, buy. <laughs> Total Warhammer. Total War, Warhammer. I've wanted to buy it. I'm thinking about it. Debate. Debatable. Okay. Um, Skyrim Special Edition. Tabletop Simulator. That's, there we go. I, Mordow, how did you not go on sale? Come on, man. Come on, Mordow. Why do you do this to us? My friend Pedro, if you're into speedrunning, but not really a big sale. Astroneer, nah, it's not a big enough sale. It's not a big enough sale. A hat in time. 50% off. That's pretty cool. $15. You're a fan of the Disgaea? Disgaea. I've been, um, I actually just got an email for a new tactical RPG, but it's a stealth game. So it's like a turn-based stealth and it's like demons and you're like kind of like a Van Helsing character. I don't know. Um, I might do a video on it. It's trailer is really short though. I kind of like I, I kind of need a more lengthy trailer or maybe some more gameplay to do one of my funny videos. Risk of Rain's not on a discount. Come on, but Deep Rock Galactic though. Deep Rock Galactic is a pretty fun game. Think Starship Troopers, which I actually just rewatched recently. Still a great movie. Um, I think it's better than ever. Okay, so Deep Rock Galactic is Left 4 Dead meets Starship Troopers, and I need to do more videos on it. I need to do more streams on it because I know like three guys, four guys. Five, a couple guys in the Discord and girls in the Discord uh, for you know Skyland games, they they play it, so I need to play. I need to play with you guys. Doom, Doom's a must buy. It doesn't seem like it's a big big discount, but like Doom's always been on discounts. It's been crazy. Dishonored, yeah. This guys buy Dishonored. That's a must buy, and a game called Dark Messiah. And I don't care if you. Wow, dude, that Far Cry New Dawn. That's a that's a huge sale for a brand new game. Um, but buy Dark Messiah, Might and Magic. Do it. I I really don't care if you if you think it looks old. It's amazing. Come on, stem. Stream. 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 Don't do this to me, Stream. Please. Uh, Final Fantasy 14 is getting a new expansion soon, and I was thinking about uh, playing because they got a new tank class. But I heard it's a tank class that plays like a DPS class. And if that's the case, then why am I not just playing DPS? So then I might play Red Mage. But then I heard like Red Mage is actually not... I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I really can't bring myself to play Final Fantasy XIV. Um, I just got so much hate whenever I did videos on it. And honestly, it's such a boring fucking game. Like the leveling is just god awful. And people are like, well, Scully, you gotta read the story and stuff. And like, you know what? I've I've played seven, eight, nine, uh, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. I'm playing through Final Fantasy Tactics now. Like I can fucking read, okay? And I played 10, 10, 2. I can read 
And I even use, I even read World of Warcraft quests. I actually read those. I can read, but I just don't care. If I'm leveling through Final Fantasy XIV, I just don't care. I don't want it. I just can't. I can't. It's stupid. That's just what I'm. I just. That's what I'm saying. Um. Okay. Yeah. And don't don't buy Civilization. Just don't. Don't buy any Civilization. Instead, buy Endless Legend. That's on sale. Do that for sure. Uh, what else do we got here? Is um. We're just getting City Skylines, only eight bucks. Elder Scrolls Online. Oh, by the way, Elder Scrolls Online is really fun. Uh, you know what? Buy it. Uh, you you might think, well, Oblivion was peak, and it was. Oblivion was a special sort of cheese, but Elder Scrolls Online ain't bad. Currently, I'm playing as a Nightblade healer, which is it's been kind of okay, but I think the mid game gets pretty repetitive, uh, which is the case for like all MMO ever for always kind of sucks. Devil May Cry 5, that's a pretty good sale for a brand new game. That's not, Far Cry 5, that's not that great of a sale for an oldish game. Um, and Far Cry 5 is really, like, wait, hold on, wait, Far Cry 5, 5, Friday, Dead by Daylight, I don't know. Far Cry 3 was really special. Dead by Daylight is 50% off, always on sale. I should probably buy it. You know, you would think I would play a game like this more, but I, I play it on the free weekends, so whatever. I don't get how you find Final Fantasy XIV boring and you can slog, slog through generic Asian MMO after another. Do I? My, the last MMO video I did was me saying that I wasn't going to cover Asian, like, you know, generic Asian MMOs. So, you have to, you have to back that up with some citation, my dude. I don't, I don't just play generic MMOs. I, I ain't like my competitors. I ain't gonna be like, no, I ain't gonna be doing that. Or maybe, maybe I could if I wanted views. Cause you know what, what gets views? Asian MMOs. They get hella views. And then people are like, Sky, you playing all these IO games? Sky, you a sellout. It's like, really? <laughs> let's, let's see me sell out. Asian MMOs. That's how you sell out. Tell you what. I promise you right now, if you guys, if you guys want to start a YouTube channel, you just cover Asian MMOs. I swear to God. You would just get views. This is the this is the advice I give every other person who's ever come to me for advice. Look at MMO Bite. Look what it's done for them. Huge. Look at Cry. Look what it's doing for him right now. Bon it's bonkers. Just fucking play. Um. So I mean, it doesn't even have to be MMOs. But right now, if you can get into access to a game called Genshin Impact, uh, that game. Let's see. There's a couple others like Period Chronicles, is another. If you get access to those games, Lost Ark, obviously, Lineage. Play those games. You're just you're just gonna you're gonna make it. They don't even have to be good games. Astelia. Uh you could even replay Arcage right now. Easy views. Okay. Easy. Do you think we'll ever get a WoW killer that isn't Asian? Um No? Because now we have Final Fantasy 14, which like Final Fantasy 14 competes with modern WoW. And then I don't know. Nobody nobody wants to invest in a game. You know, invest in an MMO and actually make a, a good MMO. I guess, you know, the, the hope was uh, a couple of these Kickstarter games and all of them are getting kind of failing grades by me. Are they getting that many views? They're getting decent views. Like, if you did it every day and you got like 20,000 views a video, you're, you're a full-time YouTuber. You're full-time, baby. Hollow Knight. Gotta play that. Um, let's see. Ark Survival Evolved. I think I bought it for 20 bucks back in the day. I remember my cousin was like, you gotta buy this game, it's got dinosaurs. And I was like, hell yeah. I fucking love Kaiju. Oh yeah. Shadow of the Tomb Raiders on a pretty big sale. Doom, obviously. Final Fantasy. I don't, I just, I don't care about the new Final Fantasy. ESO uh, does pretty well, but that's it. Yeah, have you heard of a game called League of Maidens? Yeah, I was I was gonna cover it. I think I'm gonna start covering more mature games because at this point, like obviously, I don't know if you guys noticed, but my YouTube channel doesn't get shared as much as it used to. Um, you guys probably haven't even known I've up I've actually uploaded some videos lately, but obviously YouTube just doesn't care about sharing me. So I think I'm just gonna be as vulgar as fuck. I'm just gonna I'm gonna upload hentai. I'm gonna play hentai games. 
And um, I'm also going to cross post to Pornhub and uh, upload there as well. So yeah, you know what? Why not? I I've wanted to play adult games in, in the longest time and fuck it. <laughs> Just fuck it. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll just beg for donations. So yeah, if I get demonetized or whatever and YouTube stops sharing me, at least I'll have my friends and family. I don't know. Maybe I'll do that. I'll just be like, give me Patreon! Uh. <laughs> beg for the Patreon money. Planet Coaster, you know, Planet Coaster's fun. And that's a big sale. It's a really magical game. But it's, um... I think it's a little bit better now. I haven't really played it. I played it for like 30 minutes since uh, they added the new kind of management updates. But it's more of a creative game than it is a management game. And I really love the balance of Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. But Planet Coaster ain't bad. For 12 bucks, you can have some fun. And there is some challenge. There is some. It's there. I have access to Outward. That's a pretty good sale for a game that's brand new. 40% off. Pretty good. Get that fat Nitaku money. I've actually already been proposed by new Taku to do uh, affiliated content, which is pretty cool. Which is pretty neat. War Thunder. Why is this here? Probably got some sales. Probably, probably. Okay. So yeah, we're just looking through the uh, the popular games. All these games are probably worth it. All these games are on some pretty, pretty great sales. Katana Zero just came out, 25% off. And it's already a pretty cheap game. I mean, some niche coverage and niche things. Um, yeah, I try to cover niche things, and then people yell at me. People are like, "Sky, what are you, what are you doing, Sky? No one cares about browser games, even though it's like my my literal most popular video on my channel is of browser games. So fuck off. <laughs> it's the it's the only million view video on my channel. Sky, what are you, what are you doing? This is, this is not like you, Sky. <laughs> like, what? It was, it was literally like the first video I've ever done. Okay, Frostpunk. That's the game I wanted. I wanted Frostpunk. Uh, 15 bucks. I wanted this game. I'm thinking about getting this game. But that's $15. And I, it's not multiplayer, right? Single player? I could wait until fall. And it might be on 75% off. Ugh, but I want to play RTSs. Dang it. I mean, sorry, I'm trying to, there you go. Can you give out free Faku cuz? I don't know what that is. Yakuza Zero, that's the one that I think people say to buy. We got the new Mortal Kombat, that's got, oh, uh, you know, Hunt Showdown's pretty not bad. That's not a good sale, but it's not bad. It's still in early access. I, I like Hunt Showdown. I like it. I own it. We should play sometime, guys. It's co-op-ish. Um, all these games that are left, I'm... Oh, Celeste, 40% off. Sweet. Uh, Celeste is one of the most popular speedrunning games. I've been trying to get into speedrunning. I need to go back and watch... Uh, there's Awesome game, Games Done Quick, I think, is happening right now. Awesome Games Done Quick. And, oh, I, I need to overcook, too. Actually, I, I haven't finished number one, though. But well, awesome games done quick. I missed the uh, Zombies Ate My Neighbors run, and I really wanted to watch that. Total War? I wanted Total War Warhammer, but um, is it going to be a trilogy? And then, like, all the stories kind of combine, so I'll just get it then. Or some shit like that. Human Fall Flat, 50% off. Fun little game. Killing Floor, like, given away. Dra Dragon's Dogma. That's a game I got to add to the cart. That's a, that's an add to the cart. Dragon's Dogma, Dark Arisen. I love me some monster hunting. I love it, so. Dragons. Dragons Dogma. Hunt some monsters. That's got a pretty cool magic system, pretty bombastic. Big ol' monsters. Big ol' fucking monsters. Big ol' fuck me monsters. Okay. What is that? Crash Team Racing? Cra oh, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. I I played these games as a kid. I enjoyed them. I don't need to replay them. Um, You know, that's it for me. So... I'll pass on that. Three Kingdoms, Total War Three Kingdoms. Um, I've been watching this YouTuber play, so I've been kind of living vicariously through him. I think it's called TMT Plays or something. He's he's known for playing uh, Teemo and doing League of Legends videos. Uh, ooh, I wanted to play Dusk, but not at that price. Sorry, friend. Sorry, friend. 
Oh, Forager, that looks cute. I know Forager, what is it? Kind of don't starve me. Space Engineer. Elder Scrolls Oblivion. I liked Oblivion. Castle Crashers. I swear, I feel like I should have Castle Crashers. I feel like I should buy Castle Crashers. Um, I'm gonna ask, I have a friend I wanna play this with. I'm gonna ask if they've ever played it. And if they have played it before, then I won't get it. But if they haven't, then I gotta buy it. And I gotta play through it with them. The game is getting DDoSed. It's because just so many people are trying to play it. So many people are trying to buy stuff. I look derpy as hell. I, I'm just looking at I'm just looking at my face right now. I just look I just look derp as fuck. Pretty super hot. Oh, I really like super hot VR. And I played it. I really did. And I, I enjoyed it. Oh, I wanted to look at this game. Hopefully Steam doesn't break. Please don't break. Hardcore Mecha is a 2D platformer action shooter. Uh like Mega Man? Uh, and it's also multiplayer. I mean, it looks really Japanese. It looks so Japanese. Wow. Um, by the way, if you guys want to play some Paladins, I think we're about to play some Paladins. Oh, Undertale is a, is a buy, definitely. I, you know, if, you, if I say something is a buy and I'm not buying it, it's because I've got a lot of games through shared libraries, so I don't need to. Um, does anybody know if this game, if Katamari Damacy, if this is a good version of it? It's got like, like nobody's played it. Or should I just emulate the OG version? Is that how that should work? Should I just emulate the OG version? Does anybody know that? Nobody, does that nobody know that? Dude, Factorio, is Factorio never gonna go on sale? This game never goes on sale. This is another game that I've wanted to play for the longest time and it, it's never going on sale. I think that the developers might have come out and said something like they don't like they don't believe in sales. I don't know. Wizard of Legend. I didn't. I was in my library. What is my Steam level? Hella fucking mega super duper high. Uh, I actually no. I have that. I have totally the first sin. I just gotta activate the code. Foundation. Foundation. It's a city builder. Is this out? Released this year. Oh, this, oh, I actually put this in a list video that nobody watched. I didn't even know this came out. Whoops. It's a remaster of the first one. Oh, okay. That's why it's called Reroll. I do have a PlayStation controller. I do have a, I have two PlayStation controllers. For Honor, okay guys, so here's the thing. If you've never played For Honor, honestly, play it. Also, wait, isn't it free to play? Isn't there a free to play? you know, try version. I'm thinking about getting Far Cry Primal because honestly, every time I play Far Cry, I go mostly gunless. Um, I kind of play it Archer style. I like sneaky, stealthy games. Uh, Thief is a great game, which is also probably on sale. Certainly on sale. I might get Far Cry Primal. I, I don't know. I, it seems like a cool game, you know? Oh, I wanted to play Sonic Mania. That's a buy. There we go. Sonic Mania, seven bucks. Add to cart. Hell yes, I'm very excited about that one. Sonic Mania in Knuckles. Look at this cart. What a what a what a weird cart. That's a that's a balanced gaming diet if I've ever seen one. Okay, yeah, Sonic Mania, definitely. Hell yes, that's a that's a must buy. Gotta get that. Uh, you know what? This is kind of a cool game. It's a 4x. It's a real time 4x. Uh, it's like a really kind of light 4x. It was okay. Maybe if it went on a bigger sale, 75%, 75% off, I would say, yeah, you should check it out if you're a fan of 4X, which is, it's so weird because I'm, I, I don't know. Am I a fan of 4X? I don't think I am a fan of 4X. What the hell did I just click on by accident? What the fuck was that game? That game looked cool. What was that game? Where am I? Sunset Overdrive. That came out on PC. Katamari would be a good date game for you. Take turns. Hmm. I don't know. I don't really believe in taking turns. Uh... Parkitect, I want to see a bigger sale. Parkitect is basically, uh, Planet Coaster is the evolution of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Parkitect is the evolution of Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, which is the preferred game by fans. But Planet Coaster is pretty cool too. They're just different games. Let's see. I think we're getting to the, nope, we're still finding some gems. So, you know, stick fight the game. I, I really want this to be on a bigger sale, man. Come on, why is that such a bad sale? Come on, man. 
I still haven't played Pit People. World of Final Fantasy. Crosscode! 25% off? Come on, man. Give me a 50% for Crosscode. Crosscode's a cool game. Because they have a demo. That's how I know. <laughs> they had a demo for the Kickstarter, and I played it. And it was actually a video that got some decent views. Final Fantasy IX. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm going to come out and say it. This is not a great sale, but I'm just going to say this. Final Fantasy IX is my favorite Final Fantasy. I'm not exactly sure why, but all of the story elements, all of the beat, the pacing, and it's definitely missing a lot of the mini games that Final Fantasy VII has. Final Fantasy VII is is really fucking up there too. Final Fantasy IX, I think in terms of its graphics, its story, its style. Also, Final Fantasy IX, debatably, if you look into the lore, might connect the other Final Fantasies. But I don't know. That's just that's just me being a uh, fanatic. I just think it's the most timeless one out of the you know the Triforce of sacred final fantasies uh it's a little bit underrated because it came out at the time when ps2 was announced um so you know ps2 was coming on the way and then final fantasy 10 came out really really quick after that so final fantasy 9 under underappreciated but in my opinion my favorite sonic oof what the fuck oh shovel knight i I still never bought Shovel Knight, and I keep kicking myself in the ass because I I keep I'm like oh I want a 50% off sale for Shovel Knight. I just need to buy it. I just need to buy it. Just need to do it. Graveyard Keeper, isn't this um, isn't this kind of like the other game that's like farming and stuff? I don't know. This Viscara cleanup detail 40% off. It seems like kind of a cute game. Um, I think it's even co-op or something, right? This is our cleanup detail. It is um, it is multiplayer. So you go around and just clean shit up. You pay money to work. It's even multiplayer. This seems fun. I would buy it if I if I find out a friend has it or something, I'll buy it. And then Vermintide. Oh, Vermintide 2. And that's even the collector's edition. 66% off. That's a buy. I would buy it, but I still actually need to play through the first one all the way through. So Thief Simulator seemed like kind of a fun. It. Final Fantasy 9 is on your bucket list. It's good. It's good. The story is special. And the world setting, um, at first, might seem less fantasy than other games, uh, because it's not mixing too much uh sci-fi, but it mixes kind of steampunk. It actually invented its own sort of punk. Um, so there's sometimes diesel punk, there's wind punk. This game uses mist punk. Um, it's a very unique setting, and I, I like I appreciate it. Okay. I liked it. So yeah, world of t word of world of tanks blitz MMO. This is not an MMO. <laughs> Fuck not. Just it's it's just not. <laughs> Reaper Keeper is a buy. It's like Stardew Valley but more morbid. Then that might be up my alley. Oh shit! Here we go. Little nightmares. I wanted this game. I was waiting for a really big sale, so I'm going to add it to my cart. But before I buy it, I need to Facebook somebody and make sure that they're not gonna buy it because I'm pretty sure they're gonna buy it and we have a shared library, so, you know. There's no point in me buying it if they're gonna buy it. And uh, Fury, I have on PS4. I got Rivals of Aether, but I barely play it. When, you know, I have to admit, whenever I play it with friends, like, it's not like we have a bad time, but Smash Bros is just so goddamn better. And then even then, Rivals of Aether was still, you know, pretty cool. But uh, there's some cool characters in that game. Endless Legend Collection. You know, I don't I don't really have that much money. <laughs> so we, we can't be buying too much um, here. So we're probably going to end this pretty soon. We look through. Uh, you know, I want to play a good pinball game. I really do. Oh, uh, Foxhole is an MMO, but nobody plays it, so... Thoughts about Tower Unite? I was hyped for that game, and nobody talks about it, so I guess I don't care. And it's a game that's about being social and shit. I think it was kind of coming about when VR Chat was getting hype. And then now that, you know, you have VR Chat, then you have custom games in Overwatch and Fortnite. Um, I just don't think anybody cares. In between all that. Just, no, just nobody cares. Okami! Not a big enough sale for me. I'll wait. I'll wait. You know, this was a shame. Planetary Annihilation Titans. This should have been given away for free to Kickstarter backers. Yep. Mortal Kombat X is still a, it's still a fun Mortal Kombat. If you just buy it for the story, six bucks, 
That's like that's like buying a movie, you know? Even that's like renting a movie. Dude, buy Mortal Kombat X. It is a cheesy story, but it's actually good. Like it starts out so cheese. It's like, what the fuck? But it you get into it. I promise. I promise. I fucking promise. I'm not lying to you guys. Damn it. Atlas is still at negative reviews. Wow. How do you get so much money and then still just make such a shit shit game? How? 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 Sultan Sanctuary is a game I still haven't played. I might need to buy that. Uh, Final Fantasy VIII, but no, wait, this is 13. Ew. Just fucking ew. <laughs> Final Fantasy 13. Sky, any advice on any low medium spec games? Wow, I haven't done a list like that in a while. We should uh we should do. We should do another one. Yeah, actually, um you should check out some mobile games. <laughs> nah, there I've been playing a lot of I've been doing a lot of list videos on browser games and stuff like that. I mean you should check those out. Like they're fun games. But I'm not sure what kind of game you're looking for. You'd have to be way more specific. There's so many games. Like, you could probably play Hollow Knight on, like, a laptop. You know, a little laptop. You could play Hollow Knight. You know? Shadow Tower. Oh, I have this game. Never mind. A couple of games I have. Get games that can run on lower hardware. Well, yeah. But, like, what kind of games? You know? Like, Balloons balloons TD. Balloons can play on any machine. Probably. Like, most puzzle games can play on any machine. But what kind of, what kind of game from there? Looking for, like, a low-spec MMO? Uh, you can play any retro game, emulate most retro Super Nintendo games, and have a freaking blast. Aw, oh, man, Realm Royale still mixed reviews? That sucks. That sucks balls, dude. Plague Incorporated. Uh, dirt Rally is a great game. Got some dirt. And uh, I haven't played Ruiner, but I heard, heard some cool things about it. Um... I'll pass on it a little bit. Sunless Sea. I'm looking for... I think... It, is it Sunless Skies? Starless Skies? Get the sequel? That Metro. I got that for free. Life is Strange. Get all the Life is Strange. Just get it. Or just watch a Let's Play. Whatever. I don't care. I don't care what you guys do. Any RPG single player gems? Yeah. Uh, There's a bunch of pixel art games that'll run pretty low spec. I think you guys would have a lot of fun with it. Um... I can like, I can give you, I can actually look up some because I think we're kind of, I don't know, we can go on and on with this one. All right, we're in that part of the video where like, we, I should look up very specific games that I want to shout out. So let's go ahead and do that. Splunky, by the way, Splunky, get that shit. Pyre, get that shit. Uh, they, also, this comes in a bundle with um, Bastion and Transistor. And I heard Guacamole is pretty cool, but anyways, Opus Magnum, supposed to be a good puzzle game as well. But alright, first game, that also, because somebody asked, what's a low-spec game? That's like an action RPG or whatever. Not technically an RPG, but it's an action-adventure game. It's called Titan Souls. It's called Titan Souls. And you basically have one arrow, and you gotta, like, yeah, well, it's gonna say on the little trailer here. You get one arrow, and you try to fuck giant monsters with your one arrow that you telekinetically can pull back. It's like, um, Shadow of the Colossus, like, mini. Mini Shadow of the Colossus kind of thing going on. So, use your arrow, fight Colossus. It's just, it's a boss rush game. It's boss, 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 boss. Fun game. Super good there. Um, next game is, I think, called Wizard of Legend. Next game for low spec on sale, you know, budget game. Wizard of Legend, also on sale here. Uh, which is, is it co-op? Uh, it is shared split screen co-op. It is kind of like, you mix and match. It's like action magic. It's action magic, dungeon crawling. Pretty bombastic, pretty ridiculous. Yep. There you go. Another game. And you guys know. You guys, come come to me anytime. You want to talk about artistic games. Um, we got Hyperlight Drifter, which should be on sale. God damn, it's not. Not on sale. Just kidding. Can't talk about it. Can't talk about it. Can't say, can't say Hyperlight Drifter. It's not on sale for some unknown reason. Oh, I need a wish list this game. Blasphemous. Add to my wish list, please, and thank you. Uh, I actually just put this in uh, my last year's list for pixel art games. By the way, next week, they're getting a new list. Top 10 upcoming pixel art games for, you know, this year in 2020. Ooh, it's gonna be sick. But anyways, yeah, I just had a wish list that, sorry. Sorry, dudes. 
I'm hyped for Silk Song. I wonder, is that already on? Um, oh yeah, Hollow Knight Silk Song. Can you wish list it? Add to your wish list. Did it. Got it done. Um, by the way, if I streamed me playing Hollow Knight, would you guys watch? Because honestly, guys, I just want to level with you before I end this uh, portion of the stream. I just want to say, I I love talking about new games and game sales, and I love getting views and money, donations, and Patreons, but like, I I like games. I, I just want to play games. Um, the channel's called Skyline Games. So if I, if I just wanted to play Titan Souls, or if I wanted to Let's Play Hollow Knight, would you guys watch? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll just do it anyways. Because I need to stream more, regardless. And the thing that's stopping me from streaming is because it's like, well, why should I stream when I could just make a video? I don't know. Nobody's gonna watch me. I'm just, I'm just a loser boy. I'm just a loser boy. And you know, you can play any 2D, like if, if you have like a low end PC, you can also play Don't Starve Together, but you can play any 2D game, dude. Like any 2D fucking game, basically. Even Knob is a great game. N plus plus, Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time. I could just, I could go through almost, mo I, I would dare say most games can be played on a low spec PC. You know, you don't need to play the newest Call of Duty. There's tons of indie darlings like Stardew Valley that you could play. <laughs> you know, like you don't need it. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll do a list. I, I haven't done a list like that in a while, so I'll probably do low spec free to play games. Um, just low spec action RPG, maybe. Um, I, I definitely will do some pixel art game lists and things. Uh, ooh, Zup. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, when it comes to sales, it looks like all the usual games are on sale. We kind of, you know, went through them a little bit. There's still definitely some hidden gems. Um, which, if I went through my whole, you know, library, I could show you guys what the hidden gems are. Like, Dark Mouse is probably a hidden gem. I enjoyed Dark Mouse a lot. It's on sale. It's four bucks, under four bucks, closer to three dollars. I liked, I liked Dark Mouse. Um, a lot. I'm pretty sure I put it on a list already. Uh, you know, I bet Devil Daggers is on, is on sale. Like, I could, I could go on and on. Devil Daggers is on sale. It's a three dollar game. It's on sale, 50 percent off. Devil Daggers is super fun too. Like, I'm just not sure how to do these kind of videos because I would be here all day and we've already been streaming for a while, so I don't know. Terraria. Sky Lenny! Yeah. Kind of CPU heavy. Yeah, you do gotta watch out for those builder games. Building games from Minecraft to Terraria. You do, um, they'll scratch your CPU a little bit. They'll work it out. So yeah, I don't, I'm not really sure what you guys want. So how about this? Uh, in closing of the sale, give me, um, give me a genre or something. Give me, give me some type of, like a hunger type of game that you want. Like, I want to play this kind of game, Sky. Let me know, and then I'll search those up. Okay? And uh, while you guys are typing that, uh, basically the plan for the rest of the stream for tonight is uh, I'm just going to go get some water, some ice. I'm not going to end the stream. Um, or I guess I'll end it for like a minute just so it clips it and then I can make a new stream. But I'm going to be switching uh, over to Twitch, and I'm playing Paladins immediately. So if you guys want to play Paladins with me, please, and thank you, I would really appreciate it. Uh, let's get some numbers up in there, and then we'll probably, once we play Paladins a little bit and get tired of it, then we're going to go switch to, um, I'm going to be playing Auto Chess, uh, or at least I'm going to play Under Underlords, Dota's Underlords, which I've actually gotten really good at, and I've been winning consecutively, so hopefully I keep that up uh, on stream. So strategy or RPG, maybe? Um, actually, combination. There is a strategy RPG called Endless Legend, but Titan Drops, I think you've been here for a while, so I think you've already heard me talk about Endless Legend, but some people think it's just a 4X. It actually is an RPG. It's got full RPG mechanics. It has a full focus on the story, which, by the way, intertwines with Endless Space and Dungeon of the Endless. Um, and each faction has its own unique story, own unique morality. There are cutscenes. There is a literal quest objective. Like, you can play the game by literally running through the questing. Uh, and overall, basically, if you ask any YouTuber, any critic, Endless Legend is the 4X. Endless Legend is the best 4X. At, at least, the like, for just the general gaming audience. I don't know. Some people might like Stellaris, but Endless Legend is like the 4X. Uh, but regardless, it is a fantastic strategy game, and each faction plays differently. So, um, some are going to be a little bit more RPG focused than others. Me, I personally like the Insect Race. That's the one that I always play. Insect Race, my boys. Yep. The Necro fucking something. Really great stuff. Like them a lot. 
But also, uh, yeah, you could play this guy. Yeah, you could, you could play that. You, you could do that. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, the combat inside of Endless Legend, while you can just automate it, uh, if you don't and you do it manual, it is actually a tactical RPG combat system. So, if you like this guy, then I don't see why you wouldn't like that one as well. Oh so yeah, what else do we have here? Mega Di Mega Dimension Neptunia 8. RPG. In terms of RPG. What do I got? What is on sale for action RPG? We got um Grim Dawn, which is on 70% off sale. A lot of people are always like, yo, have you played Grim Dawn? No, I haven't, but everyone won't shut up about it, so. That's crazy. Titan Quest is still going. I think they actually recently updated it. So yeah, it does say 2016. Four bucks for Titan Quest. Um Really, really classic stuff going on there. I'm not sure what else. What can I say for RPG? RPG. A lot of stuff I play is like free to play. You know? Oh, I guess. I guess. Oh, if you want a tactical RPG, uh, there is Pit People. If you got, if you didn't know that, that's actually a tactical game. Pit People from from the makers of um Castle Crashers. Yeah, Pit People. It's a, tact it's a tactical game. Tactics. If you ever enjoyed grinding, Disgaea. And I remember, I, I, I like the art from Disgaea. I remember the first time I opened up a gaming magazine that had a picture of uh, the little demon chick from Disgaea. I was like, whoa. This is awakening something in me. Yeah. Anyways. Okay, so any other uh, suggestions? Cuphead. Cuphead's pretty fun. Are there any games out there like Undertale? Um, Undertale's kind of special though, you know, I mean, that's why it's so popular. There's a bunch of RPG Maker games, but like, I don't know, Undertale's, as like a, a big known game, Undertale's kind of special. I don't know what that was. What is that? Oh, it's a follow. Oh yeah, by the way guys, you got you want to go preemptively follow twitch.tv slash Skylint, because that's where I'm going to be moving the stream after we do this whole sale thing. Uh, before that, I'm just going to look through my, my list here of games that I personally bought and own to make sure that I'm not forgetting anything that you need to buy. So we'll just go down this, and if you see anything, let me know. Okay, so let's see. Um, I kind of have these in uh, lists, so let's say if you guys want to play co-op games, look at every co-op game that I have. Not all of them are must-buys, but most of them are. So, uh, co-op, yeah, yeah, let's see, Rain World I think should be on sale, Rain World is a pretty, very unique game, not for everyone, 50% off, but they did just recently add a party mode, and I think that they just added in a co-op mode, or they, they either just added it in, or it's about to be added in, I don't know, I gotta figure that out, gotta figure it out. Rain World, Rain World is, is probably not what you're expecting though. You're definitely going to want to watch a video before you get into it. It's really like a survival game, kind of. Very much. Thank you guys for the follows. I'll be streaming there pretty soon. Banner Saga's on sale. Baldur's Gate 3? I didn't even play 2. I, I own it, but I didn't. Crypt of the Necrodancer should be on sale. I believe we actually saw it on sale. Crypt of the Necrodancer is 3 bucks. $3, and you can actually buy the Ultimate Pack. It's all on sale. Hell yeah. Sweet. There's also a new Zelda Necrodancer style game. It's actually, it's mostly a Zelda game. For real. Dust and Elysian Tale should be on sale. Rocket League is dope for sure. Oh my god, 75% off. Four bucks, dude. Dust. Uh, the game looks like this. It's kind of like an action combat side scroller game. Sure. Party Hard should be on sale. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I'm trying to find something that's like really niche you know like something that you guys wouldn't have heard before seen before but the truth is is like i think you've seen everything you know of everything it's kind of hard to talk about stuff so like what what even is worth really mentioning i guess soul caliber 6 um you know that's new so is it on sale holy shit 20 dollars 67 percent off soul caliber 6 this is a fun game it's fun i like it i i smash the hell with nightmare Yes, I'm a nightmare player. What 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 are you gonna do about it? You know? What are you gonna do about it? Okay, what else do we got? Uh I love crawl. I love crawl. Actually, I think it, I just started a download for something. Nope. I hate that game. 
Crawl, I love Crawl. I talk about it too much though. 40% off, nine bucks. It's like my favorite party game. One of my favorite. A lot of other YouTubers talk about it. You guys should know about this game by now. Especially if you watch my channel. Uh, if you haven't, I I really think you guys should go watch the video where I play Crawl. Type in, go to Skyland, go type in Crawl. Watch that shit. It is, uh, it was a good video. It was fun. It was good. Got some Need Hog. Or some Need Hog. You know, this game should be on sale and they have four packs. I like this game. And 90% off, it's a dollar. You can buy the four pack for $3. It's a fun fucking game. It's like a 2D arena shooter kind of thing. But uh, there's like different planets. Kind of like the gravity pulls you around. It's pretty crazy. Uh, damn, dude. I just got too many fucking games, man. Speedrunners is a fantastic party game. I love it as a party game. A little expensive there right there. Oh, there's a demo. Ooh. Mordow is not on sale. Not, I don't know why it's not. Oh my god, dude. I just got so many fucking games. I just can't even. Like, how am I supposed to talk? I can just blah, blah, blah. <laughs> There's just no way. Yeah. Um, okay, any any other any other genres you guys want to play? And then we'll call it a day. One more, one more genre. <laughs> and we'll call it a day. Like Sky. Give me a suggestion for this genre. Now, I will let you know, but um just assume everything's on sale, man. Holy god. Don't know. Thanks for the follows, guys. We will be um we'll be playing Paladins for a little bit here shortly, then auto chess. Is Darkness 2 or Arkham Knight worth it? Yes. Both? Both of those? Or uh oh, Arkham. It's like Arkham. The Arkham series, I think everyone liked the first and second one, and maybe the second one the most. The third one is really polarizing. Divisive. But it's the second one. Casual as frick. <laughs> uh, you just want the in the Arkham series. I can't remember which one it is. Like a relaxing game. Oh, yeah, no, we already talked about that. Uh, a relaxing game is called. I don't know if you're here for that. I'm certain you were, but if you were, I can look up another one. It's called Mini Metro. Um, I know this is on Steam, but it's also, I think it's cheaper on mobile. I got it for a dollar, uh, because it was on sale on mobile. But this game is worth five dollars. Uh, but you really, it's really a mobile game. Um, this is such a zen game. I love it. I love this game. I fucking love it. Okay. It's like a, yeah, it's, a, it's, you control the paths of, uh, little mini metro lines. And you try to get people from place to place. It's just super zen. But if you wanted another casual chill game i think we could probably find i think we could find that actually so let's go down here and they have oh whoops they actually have the different genres that we can search through casual games oh right here casual games i would like to see more i actually did a video on uh casual games as a whole here but uh top selling and i'll we'll, we'll talk about some of these try to find some uh slime rancher slime rancher slime rancher is beautiful i love slime rancher watch uh, Overcooked is... Oh, if anybody fucking tells you that Overcooked is a casual game, they don't know what they're talking about. Overcooked is one of the most stressful games you'll ever play in your life. It is so crazy. It is not. It is not casual at all. But I guess Katamari. Katamari, if that's a... It's a remake? Yeah, hell yeah. Katamari. I'm trying to find another casual game. A lot of these, they're in casual games, but they're really party games, and party games inherently can be competitive. Um, golf with friends though is pretty fun. I think so. Ultimate chicken horse not. <laughs> I bet vacation simulator though. Casual games. Plague. Plague. Plague's pretty good. Look at this. Getting guys, getting over it is in casual games. Getting over it is in casual games. So you know what I'm saying? I actually did a I did a whole video on this because basically this is busted. This uh the search term here. But um Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 is probably is 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 always the game I play. Like I I love playing Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. If I'm in a dark place, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 is where I go. So that's what I would say. A Metroidvania? Metroidvania? You got yourself Hollow Knight, which I haven't completed, or anywhere near completed. But um also we just got Bloodstained, which is on a, a decent sale for a game that literally just came out. Get to play Katana Zero, that's on sale. Not a huge sale, but it's a pretty cheap game. Um, Ori and the Blind Forest is actually on sale. I don't know if you guys have played that. Ori and the Blind Forest is on sale. Oops, sorry. That's the original version. It's uh, $10. Ori and the Blind Forest Definitive Edition. 
is $10. It is a Metroidvania, and it is adorable. It's kind of like if Rayman and Super Metroid had a baby. That's that's how I would describe it. Yeah, that's safe, right? Rayman plus Super Metroid. It's kind of, you know, maybe. It's a gorgeous game. Super, super gorgeous. Dawn of Man's pretty good. I bought Overcooked as a date game. <laughs> Oh my god, as a, like, I've, I, I've had dates with it, and, like, so dates either, like, you, you can't play it for too long, so either they like it for a little bit, or they fucking, like, they can't, they're like, nope, this ain't happening, Sky, um, but it, I think it is a good date game, it's just, like, it's gotta be a good date, it's not something that'll, that'll save the night, you know, it's not, you gotta, probably not a first, first night kind of thing like you got to know the person a little bit so maybe like a second date third date but then again if your first date is coming over and playing games you know netflix and chill they're a little bit thirsty anyways so just skip the games and just bone you know rain world is a good metroidvania oh yeah i forgot uh we did just talk about rain world um i mean i guess yeah it's kind of a metroidvania it's like a, a survivalvania it's 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 kind of it's kind of hardcore it's kind of not easy um, I've barely gotten anywhere in it, so. Alright, guys. Um, there's, like, so many good games on sale. And, you know what? They're actually really decent, decent sales this year. This year is pretty good. Oh, you get Castle Crashers and Pit People for 14 bucks. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Alright, so, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get some water. I'm gonna get some ice. Plants vs. Zombies Game of the Year Edition. I might just buy this, because I don't know how the free-to-play version works on the phone. Um... But yeah, so what 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 did we end the night with? What did I personally want? What am I getting on my cart? Uh, Little Nightmares. I might remove that, depending on if my friend is going to buy it or not. But Sonic Mania, that's for sure. Vanquish looked hype as hell. Terraria, been a while. I need to play it. And then Islanders is going to be my puzzle slash strategy game that I buy. So as you can see, a very healthy, but not so wealthy shopping cart. And that's okay with me. Because I've still got a huge backlog. And actually, before I even play any of these, I'm, I'm probably going to play Hollow Knight. So, yeah, that was from, like, last year's summer sale. Um, or fall sale or something like that. But, yeah, uh, only $26. That's not bad for a poor gamer like me. But thanks for sponsoring on Patreon and giving donations and stuff and things. I don't know. If Am I supposed to congratulate that anymore? Do, do people still do that? I don't know. Anyways, um, thanks to you guys. We can keep uh, playing games and uh, covering them and stuff like that. So I'm going to be switching over to Paladins, and I will be doing a YouTube video, so maybe you guys will make it if you guys play with me. Uh, so give me, give me, what is it? Yeah, give me four minutes. Uh, I'll come back in four minutes. I just need to get water and, you know, stretch my legs. We're playing some Paladins. So I'm going to stop the stream, and I'll start it back up in four minutes, or I guess three minutes or whatever. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching the Steam Summer Sale uh, video. Sorry the mic looked like shit the whole time, and I uh, hope you guys have fun. Yeah? All right, play Little Nightmares. Good little, good little game. Man, Titan, me and you, we slay it, don't we? Okay, <laughs> all, all the dates. That's it, guys. I'll see you in Paladins, and then also uh, Dota, Auto Chess, or whatever. Uh, but that's on Twitch.tv. Twitch.tv slash Skylands. I'm moving the stream over, so please, please, please meet me over there. It's gonna be fun. All right, uh, let's go do this. Bye, bye. <laughs>